Hi everyone, this is Abdul from Mokad and today we are sharing the news for 27th February continuing our series to help you prepare for your VAT and PI and get through IMs and other top B schools. The actual news articles from which we have taken these key points are listed in our daily news sections. Their link is in our description and first pinned comment. Please check it out. Today's top 5 headlines are India closes in on Oman trade deal as Mid East ties strengthen. Sweden bids farewell to neutrality, joins NATO. Why Vijay Shekhar Sharma resigned as Paytm Payments Bank Chairman. Growing evidence of a vanishing middle class, struggling low income class. Astronaut delegates selected for Ganganyan mission. Let's look at the first news. India closes in on Oman trade deal as Mid East ties strengthen. India and Oman are close to concluding talks on a trade deal that will allow easier access of goods and services into each other's markets. Although a small economy, Oman is crucial to India given its location in the Middle Eastern region. Oman also has the fifth largest population of Indians working overseas. New Delhi wants lower tariffs on exports to Oman, ranging from rice and pharmaceuticals to petroleum and steel products. It's also negotiating with Oman to ease access for Indian professionals such as doctors, nurses, engineers and other workers. Oman wants better access for goods such as downstream petroleum products, fertilizers and iron and steel products among others. Oman is India's third largest trade partner among GCC, Gulf Cooperation Council nations. Two-way trade stood at $12.38 billion in 2022 to 2023 according to India's trade ministry. Let's look at the second news. Sweden bids farewell to neutrality, joins NATO. As Russia's invasion led to a dramatic shift in both public opinion and political parties, the process of Sweden's membership to NATO began. While Finland became a member of NATO in April 2023, Sweden got stuck in a diplomatic quagmire. Sweden has already signed a deal with US, giving full access to 17 of its military bases started its NATO integration and even announced plans to send forces to Latvia. For the historically neutral country, it marks a dramatic change in national identity. NATO membership also means increased defense spending. For NATO, it gives the alliance access to Sweden's territory and turns the Baltic into a NATO sea surrounded by member countries as Sweden would probably serve as a logistical hub for defense planning. The next news is about why Vijay Shekhar Sharma resigned as Paytm Payments Bank Chairman. Paytm CEO Vijay Shekhar Sharma resigned as non-executive chairman and board member of Paytm Payments Bank amid ongoing regulatory challenges faced by Paytm. Paytm's decision to reconstruct the board with independent and executive directors is seen as an effort to demonstrate compliance with regulatory norms and salvage the situation. The regulatory challenges faced by Paytm have impacted its stock value with a significant drop since the RBA's order. However, the stock has shown signs of recovery attributed to Paytm's partnership with new banking entities and the RBI extending the deadline for winding down the payment bank's operations. In response to the crisis, the Finance Ministry has announced plans to hold discussions with Indian law enforcement agencies and fintech firms in the near future. The next news is about Growing evidence of a vanishing middle class, struggling low income class. A closer look at the RBI's consumer survey time series data reveals glaring inequality staring at the face of India's sluggish economic growth story. The data underscores the significant impact of income levels on perceptions of the general economic situation, with lower income groups expressing more negative sentiments compared to their higher income counterparts. For individuals earning less than Rs 5,000, there is a considerable divide in expectations. While 41% anticipate an improvement in employment, a significant portion, 39%, expects worsening conditions, indicating a mixed sentiment within this income bracket. While there is a trend of optimism across most income brackets regarding expectations on employment, there are variations in the level of confidence and concerns with higher income groups demonstrating a stronger belief in positive outcomes compared to lower income counterparts. 
The trend in expectations on the price level one year again suggests a consistent anticipation of inflation or higher price levels among respondents with occasional minor fluctuations in sentiment observed throughout the period. The last news is about astronaut delegates selected for Ganganyaan mission. Prime Minister Narendra Modi revealed the squad set to go to space as part of Ganganyaan mission, India's first manned space mission. The Ganganyaan mission is India's first human spaceflight program for which extensive preparations are underway at various ISRO centers and is set to launch between 2024 to 2025. Ganganyaan project encourages demonstration of human spaceflight capability by launching a crew of four members to an orbit of 400 km for a three-day mission and bring them back safely to Earth by landing in Indian waters, according to ISRO. PM Modi also inaugurated three projects, namely a trisonic wind tunnel, a semi-cryogenic integrated engine and stage test facility and the PSLV integration facility. With an aim to provide world-class technical facilities for the space sector, these three projects have been developed at a cumulative cost of about 1,800 crore rupees. These are the fine news for today. If you like this video and found this useful, please give a like and subscribe to our channel. We will be posting more videos which will be helpful for your preparation. Thank you and all the best.